and thank you for watching the CyberTuner iPhone tutorial series and congratulations on equipping your business with the most advanced tuning system on the inner planets. We want you to get the very best out of your CyberTuner system. This is the tuning file basics video. We'll give you a working understanding of how to use the tuning file system including how to import tunings to your iPhone from another platform and how to back up the tunings you have already. Let's go ahead and start iTunes. This is our gateway for working with CyberTuner files. This is on a Mac but should work exactly the same using Windows. Connect your iOS device with CyberTuner installed. It should appear under, on the sidebar under Devices. Select your device by clicking on it and then move up to the top and select Apps. There will be a list of apps and an area titled Documents if you scroll down. There we have File Sharing, Apps, and Documents. Click on CyberTuner. The heading Documents changes to CyberTuner Documents and should contain the file irctlibrary.rctx. This area displays all the tuning files which are on your iOS device. This is where we can move tuning files between CyberTuner and our main computer. Note that for the initial release, CyberTuner is limited to one tuning file which must be named irctlibrary.rctx. Enabling multiple files is on the list of features to come very soon. Let's see how to move a file to the computer for backup first. Click on irctlibrary.rctx to select the tuning file you like, then click Save To, and we can save it to wherever we please. The other option is to click on it, click and hold, move our mouse cursor to where we'd like it, and then let go to drag and drop. Now we see that it's on the desktop. Now let's copy a file on the hard drive to CyberTuner. First, find your file. Here we have it on an SD card. We've transferred it from a pocket PC onto this SD card. Rename the file. Do this by clicking and then clicking again. Click, click. There we see uh, it turns into a text field. Delete the existing text and rename it IRCT library dot RCTX and then click off of the text. Change back to iTunes and click add. Here we are, our SD card, select our file, open, and we'll go ahead and replace. Alternatively, we can, once again, drag and drop. Here's our SD card. Click, drag, and drop. Replace. And be sure to hit Apply to sync your iOS device. Syncing. And that's it. Be sure to press the Subscribe button if this video helped you so you don't miss the latest CyberTuner tips. Thanks again and happy tuning.